Good evening. I hope everyone is having a great time at tonight's first ever drive-in gala for Casa Central. What a great idea for a safe way in these COVID-19 times to celebrate and support this amazing organization. I am always in awe of my personal Shiro, the great, la única Dolores Huerta. Her many struggles for Latinos, women, and civil rights have paved the way for future generations. Gracias y te quiero mucho, Dolores. And to my friend, Marty Castro, through your tremendous and passionate leadership at Casa Central, lives both young and in their twilight years are being transformed for the better. Thank you. I am so honored to receive the Pastora San Juan Cafferty Award. Pastora San Juan Cafferty was a steadfast advocate for the Hispanic community in Chicago. Our city and our institutions are better places because of her work, her research, and her devotion to the people of this city. As Illinois Controller, it's my job to manage the state's finances and pay its bills. As the only Latina holding statewide office in Illinois today, I'm especially proud to advocate for the Hispanic community in Illinois, especially through these trying times. That's why I prioritize state payments for social services like Casa Central that offer critical services for immigrants, people of color, and underserved populations. Especially during times of financial strife, investing in our network of social service providers is more important than ever. I want to remind the Latino community about two vitally important public priorities. The census, especially in the historically undercounted Hispanic community. It is critical that every member of our community fill out the census. Illinois stands to lose $18,000 per uncounted person in federal revenues over the next 10 years. That's less money for education and healthcare and other critical services. And COVID-19, it's hitting our community harder than any other. As we know, our Latino essential workers have been critical to keeping our food supply moving, caring for our children, stocking our grocery stores, and cleaning our hospitals, among so many other critical jobs. Lack of access to quality health care, housing, or health insurance has created a systemic inequity leading to increased disease in the Latino community. We must continue our fight for equity in pay, education, housing, and health care. Lastly, we all have an opportunity coming up November 3rd to make our voices heard and ensure a better future for ourselves and our families. The stakes couldn't be higher this election for Latinos, for immigrants and people of color. So vote as if your life depended on it. If you don't want to vote in person, request a mail-in ballot and vote by mail. America depends on you being an active participant. Thank you again for the honor and have a wonderful evening.